so the first topic will be the python function uh, sorry first topic will be python loop uh, in this section we will see how to create a loop what different kind of loop is there then we gone through some program of loop then we check break statement and continue statement okay so let's start the thing first of all python loop first of all python loop the flow of program can be written in any programming language is sequential by default sometimes we may need to alter the flow of program the execution of a specific code may need the repeated several times okay so sometimes there is a condition we have to repeat our code so for this thing we have to we use the loop what happened with the loop we have to iterate the condition and this condition will start from some number and this condition may terminate with some number okay so the second thing why we use the loop in the python the looping simplify the complex problem into easy one it enable us to alter the flow of program so that in a state of writing the same code again and again we can repeat same code for a finite number of times for example if we need to print first 10 natural number then instead of using the print statement 10 times we can print inside a loop which runs up to 10 iterations so rather than take a 10 variables 10 values i just take one variable which will use the value of loop and it will print to okay so first thing is for loop very useful very easy and very interesting okay so the loop in the python is used to iterate the statement or a part of program several times it is frequently used to traverse data structure like list tuple dictionary etc so three terms are used list tuple dictionary this is a data structure which is used to collection different kind of data okay we will see in later chapters what is these are thing but before this how to create a for loop okay i have to write for then iterating variable means which variable contain the value of this thing loop or iteration then from what sequence variable you are using because you have to iterate your loop with the help of sub sequence variable okay then you have to go into the statement okay so the general flow chart you can see over here until the item is remaining in the sequence we have to iterate the body of loop the iteration of body of loop is done but when the item is finished so loop will exit out okay this is a general concept of looping everywhere not in python in any programming language okay so the question is arise how we create a for loop very simple first of all i will demonstrate one by one how to create a loop and how we assign a loop so what i do very first i just take a list i mean list is nothing but the collection of data i just take a list of numeric so i take number all right so what i do i have to iterate the data or loop over this list okay so what happen for i i is my iterating variable then in operator then what collection you have i have collection in list 1 then what happen i have to print a statement print print then what i do i check this one so what data you have there so you can easily do this thing you can easily run this thing okay the by default order is a vertical order so if you want to do this thing in horizontal way sometimes due to a space what i do i have to use a and okay so what happened with the and each two element will be printed with the some space okay now if you do this thing same way you can put comma over here so each element put the comma i mean just simple append what you want to append at the end of each character you can go over here okay lot more things we have just like uh, this is a numeric collection we have a string collection also just like i take the list 2 in list 2 i am collecting all the uh, string variable just like country name
अमेरिका ब्राजील कनाडा डेनमार्क ओके सो दिस फोर कंट्री ओके सो यू कैन आई टेक द थिंग माइंड दिस थिंग एंटायर डेटा इज ऑन ए सिंगल इंडेक्स आई मीन दिस ए कलेक्शन सो वन डेटा टू डेटा थ्री डेटा एंड फोर डेटा Oops, I have to put the list two over here. Okay, similarly, if you want to this thing based on a horizontal way, check this one. So कलेक्शन और यू हैव टू जेनरेट द कलेक्शन सो लिस्ट इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ प्री डिफाइंड कलेक्शन ओके नाउ इफ वी हैव टू जेनरेट द कलेक्शन सो आई है range function. what range function do all right so let's see range function is used to range function is used to create a sequence of number sequence of number so what is its syntax syntax means range we have three parameter start then we have end then we have step three parameter so what is start from where you want to start what is end up to where you want to go All right. I will demonstrate uh, shortly. Then step means difference between difference between two numbers. Okay. So two things are there. One is description, and second is default value. What is the default value? Let's suppose you are missing the start point. So default value default value will be zero. Okay. So If you are missing the start index, so it will start from zero. If you are missing the step size, so default value will be one. Means at least difference between two number will be one. Okay, let's demonstrate. Let's demonstrate this thing. So what I do for for i in Please have a look over here. Range one to ten. One more thing about the end. It will always. This is exclusive. This will be. B. Excluded. What is meaning of excluded? Let's check the output. Then see. What I do. i take starting point 1 and point 0 i miss the step size so by default one value is there okay i print i check this one so it will start from the one as usual because one is 10 point and it is go to 9 it is not traveling till 10 that's why i say it is excluded this number is excluded means what end point you are going to put this is always be Less than that number, okay. So if you want to print from one to ten, you have to put over here eleven. So in that case, it will be printed as a one to ten, okay. So due to space, I just put and equal to comma. Get this thing, okay. Same thing we can do with the help of with the help of step size one. So what is step size? The difference between two number means two minus one, one, three minus two, one. So what output you get over here? Same output you get over here. Check this one because step size by default one. All right. What about if I put? What about if I put only eleven? Only ten, not eleven. So what happened? What this reflect? See, default value. Priyanka Baral, okay. Uh, Miss Priyanka Baral, kindly unmute yourself. Uh, why you join very late? 
I hope I check the right name. No problem. I am requesting to all participants to please join at 8 p.m. sharp. All right. Okay. So what happened? If I put only 10 over here, so the default value given for the start one, start one that is zero. Default step size is given. That is one. So what is this? This is end point. Is start by default, step by default. So this is your end point. Means when you run, so it will by default start the index from zero. Travel till ten means ten minus one till nine, and step size is one. Check this one. Somewhere you got this kind of thing, so please don't confuse. Keep in mind index start from zero, collection start from zero, or range start from zero. Go to this point minus one, and the step size is one. So let's see the step size. What happened with the step size? If I am printing from 1 to 21, because obviously it will run till 20, not 21, one step less, and I put the two step size. Check this thing. 1 plus 2, 3 plus 2, 5, means any two number will give you a difference of 2. All right. Now, based on this thing, this is a forward one. Now, if I want to do it reversely, means I want to do this thing from 10 to 0 and I put the minus 1. Check this thing. Means it will start from 10. 10 step size is minus 1. So 10 minus 1, 9. 9 minus 1, 8. 8. So you can put this thing means in decreasing order. What about if we want to print the loop in negative number? So let's suppose I want to start the loop from minus 10 and this will goes to 0, minus 10, minus 9 and I have to take the step size plus 1. See this thing, see the difference. Minus 1, minus 9, 8 like that. So somewhere if I want to go with the in positive number, just like a 5, so it will never attend the 5 it will attend the 4 because one step less and plus 1 is omitted because default step size is 1 so when it at cross the 0 so positive number is going to be start all right now based on this we have a program write a program to print the table of 5 table of given number of given number student keep joining late and late okay so all those student keep joining late uh, that is not fruitful thing for you okay because uh, we start from 8 uh, 5 p.m so again i am requesting to all participants join at correct time 8 p.m okay so now my task is to write a program to print the table of given number means any number input by the user you have to generate this table. Let's suppose table of 5. 5 and the 5, 5 to the 10, 5 to the 15, like 50. So what we do? If let's suppose user enter 5. So what I do? I will run the loop from 1 to 10. 1 to 10. And each time I am multiplying. So number entered by the user and you have a loop over here. So when you do multiplication, you got the table simple logic okay so what i do i just take the num equal to and <coughs> input enter the number all right then i do what to do for i in range range 1 to 11 so it will run all to 1 to 10 then what i do print what print num into i very simple i enter the number of seven oops num into i i put num into one num into i seven perfect you can see find over there so what if if i have to do the same code 
I have to do the same code with some formatted way. That's like five into one equal to five. I want to print out in this way. Or seven into one, seven. Then we have <clears throat> uh, five into two equal to 10. Then five into 10 <coughs> equal to 50. So what I do in this case, I just copy this thing. See where I am going to alterate the thing. First of all, I am printing the num because num contain the number. Then single quote <coughs> asterisk. Then value of i. <coughs> then equal to. All right. In this case, what you do? Minus the meaning. <coughs> Check over here. You please also do. Just take the. I am taking just water. All right. <coughs> yes. Okay. So based on this one, you can see I just do the formatting, nothing else. You can easily print number of any number. Okay, print the table of any number. If you go through the 12, so table of 12 will be printed. Okay, so design a logic in such a way so you can easily this to do this thing. All right. In same way, we have program of factorial. Write a program. Write a program to calculate the factorial. Okay, so what we do in this case, what is factorial? If I do enter a number, let's suppose three. So factorial of three equal to three dot two dot one. That is six. What is factorial of four? Four dot three dot two dot one. That is twenty-four. Four three is twelve, two is twenty-four. Okay, so kindly develop a program write a program to calculate the factorial of a given number. Okay, you have to take input from user. Yes, good debatry and uh, do this thing. Uh, if you want to see some previous program, this program, so you can use this thing. I'm sharing my code in the chat box. Yes, all of you have to give me this program right now. Yes, Priyanka, Vijayasai, Devatri, Samuel, Alka Matthews. All of you requested to do this thing for me. Develop a program for a factorial number. Next one, you have to develop your own logic. You do not copy the logic. Yes, Penka Power. Where is your program? <coughs> Samuel. I'm trying, but I'm not getting the logic in for loop. Okay, 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 okay. No problem. Uh, you got the uh, functionality of for loop? How it's running? Yes, sir. I understand the logic. Okay. So now you have understand how we develop the logic of the factorial particular. Is it? Uh, yeah, but uh, I don't understand what you mentioned in the for loop. Uh, what I mentioned in for loop. For loop. Uh, you got where you have problem. Tell me. Step nine. Like, step. Okay. Step nine is clear. This is a starting point. This is end point. Please remove your hesitation first. Okay. So until uh, you uh, don't remove hesitation, you don't learn. Okay. So this is starting point. This is end point. No, I just have to take that to mm -hmm. But uh, at the time of writing factorial program code, mm -hmm. I'm 
रनिंग Okay, so you have to thought how we initialize the in, uh, uh, loop uh, from a given number up to one. First thing, get this number and do product. Okay, so what I do, if you want to take, I'm just giving one note to you. If you, uh, you want to store, store any variable, any product, product in any. variable okay initialize and it means initialize that variable with one because if you multiply one with a number so the product with the same number okay so what i do i just take num i just copy this number because i have to take the user from uh, input from user so i take this one so here you got the number or num in num All right, I take factorial f equal to one. All right, now what I do for i in range, I have to run the loop from num till one means zero. Okay, then <clears throat> step will be minus one. See first what number it is printing, then production is different thing. Okay, I am just putting the five. So five four three two one. Got Priyanka, you got you got the numbers till one. Ha yeah, yeah. Half problem is done. Okay, now what I do? I have to multiply f equal to f multiply by what i. And at last, when the loop is over, see any variable which is updating inside a loop, we have to we have not print inside a for loop. We have to print outside a for loop. Okay, so what I do? I just print. Factorial, factorial of a given number outside the loop. That is my f. So if I enter three, so this give me six. If I again run this thing, enter five, this give me one twenty. But question is little complex. How do I do this thing formatting? This is marks of factorial in mathematics. You guys belong to mathematics background. So three dot two dot one after one is no dot is equal to six. I need this kind of formatting. Yes, the time is on. Tick tock, tick tock. Give me the presentation like this. Just like I do, ah, uh, presentation just like a mathematical table five h t one equal to five. Just like you have to present this one and keep this mind. There is after one there is a no dot. There is equal to marks. Sir, can I speak? Yes, please. Sir, I try down this code and send email you. This the output is coming like next line. It's not coming that, in any line. That's the thing which I want to teach you the how to do formatting. See here, everything is in line up. Okay, so you have to take the end function. I mean, end attribute which I uh, give in the for loop. So that the line is printing horizontally, not vertically. So that's the thing which I want. Okay. See the formatting. Three dot two dot one. After one, there is a no dot. There is a equal to marks. I hope you will do for me. You can you can use the logic for this one. Yes. Who is champ? <clears throat> When then the code. Comes like this. So Shubhangi, please put the factorial outside. Put the print. Put the print. This one. This you could put the print statement outside the for loop. Nothing else. Only this statement. So I told you when the variable is updated many times. So you have to put that variable outside the loop. Otherwise, this will give you that kind of times. Do this thing. It's 
coming like that. No. No, 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 not yet. Okay. Next participant, all participants working. Vijay Sai, Samuel, Alka Matthews, Tejeshwari. What is your status? Kindly give your status. Lata, Nikki, Praveen Shukla. Please share something what you uh, created over here regarding this output. All of you guys muted. Actually, this is interactive class. Sumit, repeat your question. Sumit, I have to print the output three exclamation marks equal to three dot two dot one equal to six. Either this way or five, four factorial. This exclamation marks known as factorial four dot three dot two dot one equal to twenty four. In this way. This is my question. Yes, Priyanka. So, uh, okay, first we initialize variable we take, which is the input from user. Then we initialize another variable f is equal to one. Right. Mm -hmm, right. Then we wrote that for i in range num comma zero comma minus one. Right. You did this thing or not? I did this, but I'm getting the same output for all uh, numbers. Ah, uh, can you share your code in chat box? Just like the Devatri Roy shared thing, same thing we are getting. No, 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 no. I'm I'm writing sim simple code. I have not tried that uh, hmm. format at all. Mm -hmm. My normal code is also not working. Kindly, kindly share the code, please. Priyanka, two Priyanka is there. Okay, so who is she? Priyanka Baral. Okay, Priyanka, this is your code. Priyanka Power, this is your code. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> so, so what problem it have? F equal to f into y. Num. Yeah, so I forgot num one, num one. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Num one. It's a num one. Okay. Now you see yourself mistake. I still I can't find, but you find it this thing. So you take num num one. You have to initialize num one. Why it's not running? It's a pending. We have to start the kernel. System hang. Mm, yeah. So. Yeah, perfect. All right. Uh, one more answer I have mm, from Pranka Alka Matthews. Alka, your output. Nothing is to be clear which inside a for loop. Let me set this thing. <clears throat> no, nothing this way, Alka. No, 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 no. Any more? Penka, Baral. Mm, the, you all not getting the for not get you are just taking the number and putting the result. Okay, I'm telling you. Anyone more participant? Uh, not yet. Okay. So observe the thing. First of all, observe the thing. I have input three exclamation marks equal to this is mathematical printing three dot two dot one equal to what product you have. This is the way I want to show this thing. All right. So what I do, you got, please, please wait. I, I, I'm just telling all the participants. Okay. So what I do, I just copy first few steps, just like this one. Okay. 
I'll copy all the things. Okay. See the difference. Where we have to make a difference. Okay. Keep in mind, not not even a single for loop do anything. You have to take the if statement. Okay. So what I do first of all, I just do the print. Print what number num comma exclamation marks and equal to after this and equal to single quote so what it do it do this work and and function when don't let down the line change okay now what i do i just print here see the thing print i after i i just print the asterisk or dot i just print the asterisk what you demanded and then and equal to uh, better i take the end not the asterisk and asterisk okay then at last i try to put equal to marks let's see so three exclamation marks equal to three dot two dot one but this asterisk is not required but i take the dot because asterisk is not presenting well four Performance is perfect, but this dot which is after one and before this one. So what I do? Check this one. I take the if. I know that after one there should be no dot. So I check if i equal to equal to one. So what we do? I have to only print the value of i. Value of i and equal to not one. All right, and then because when you value of i equal to one, so I need only this equal to. So when i equal to one, otherwise everything is done in the else. Else block. Check this one. I have four. So four exclamation marks, four dot three dot two dot one equal to twenty-four. I number you got over there, seven, seven dot three dot seven six five four three two one. Okay, please have a code and keep this thing for the future purpose. All right, now in the same sequence. Okay, uh, we will now demonstrate the count, how to count any thing. We will demonstrate the sum, how to sum anything. Okay, so what is count means if you want to count a number, so we have to take count variable. Count variable always, always update by by one. Okay, because we have to count the thing one, two, three, four like that. And the sum variable variable always. Update y value. All right. Now in this case, what I do, I have program for you. What program I have? Write a program. Write a program to count the even number between between seven seven one. Two, uh, eight, eight, nine. Simple. Okay. So I take the count equal to zero. Okay. It is initialized by zero and update by one. So when I for I in range, I in range. Okay. So what is starting point? Seven, seven, one. What is end point? Eight, eight, nine plus one. Y plus one. Because it is always run one step less than what I do. Now I have to check. What I have to check the number is even. So the value inside i i modulus two equal to equal to zero. Okay. So what I do count equal to count plus one means my if condition is going to be satisfied. So count will increase. And at last after for loop. When the loop is going to be finished, 
print total event number r what my event number are uh, that uh, what i say that is your count so check this thing they are saying total number is 59 okay if you change this limit i mean any limit just like i just put uh, i want to count from 1 to 50 50 so you know from 1 to 50 we have 25 even number so it will display you all right by this way you can count the thing easily for any range so range i mean you want to travel from 1 to 50 that is completed by the for loop you want to check the number is even or not that is done by the if statement all right so depend what we want to do and how we checking the if condition okay i want to add it program to add or sum the number which are divided by 5 between 100 to 150 in all those number between 100 to 150 uh, uh, I get some so what I do again taking a for loop okay again taking a for loop initialize sum with zero sum with zero uh, sum or su double m i mean green are the keywords so i make this black change the range 100 to 150 okay i check the number is divided by 5 so i just put here 5 so what i do over here check the thing sum equal to su double m sum equal to su double m plus i so total sum equal to so these are one three seven five because each time here i added the one because i am counting one two three four but here i am adding the value but these value get added when the number is divided by five so what are those number which divide from 5 so I can print print I print the I okay and then I take <clears throat> and equal to separate by the comma space and then when I print the total sum I change the line line will be changed with the slash n check this thing so between 100 to 150 these are total number which divide from 5 and these are total sum now make some this more complex if you want to count sum and uh, product so for sum for count equal to zero and product product always nice with one okay so these are the convention we have to keep in mind while do program so when the condition is satisfied so sum is getted by i count is getted by count plus one and product is uh, get by prod prod into i all right so similarly i have three print statement similarly i have three print statement uh, no need to put slash and next line because line is automatically changed it is not influenced by the end total count and discount uh, total product that is plot check this thing check the beautiful things numbers total sum these numbers are 11 check 1 2 3 4 5 6 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And these product are this way. Take this code. Okay. So this kind of logic we have to build. All right. Okay. Bring any confusion? Okay. Now things is going to be clarified. Sorry? Now things is going to be clarified how to loop is running. Uh, all, all right. Okay. So in that same sequence, we have while loop. Okay. What is syntax of while loop? While expression and the statement. Until the expression got true. So while loop will execute it for some simple example. Check this thing. Okay. So what thing we have to keep in mind? Okay. So when you initialize the while loop, so what you have to do? Okay. You have to take the variable get initialized because in for loop it is automatic initialized inside a range function. Now the while loop asset the expression means expression better expression is a test condition. Test expression, test condition. So when we have text expression, so this only condition is evaluated. After this, you have to manipulate the variable in which direction you want to go. You want to go the positive direction or negative direction. So based on the given thing, you can navigate the while loop. Check this one, one to 10. Okay, condition is going to satisfy. You got this thing. Based on this thing, we have two good program. One program I will run and second program you will run. Write a program to count the digits. Digits in a given number. Means you have to count the digits. Let's suppose I have a number. I'm taking the number from user input. Where is my input? This one is my input. All right, all right. Where is my while? Yes. So num equal to this one. I have to take count. Means I number put four, five, six, three. So this number have four digits. So answer could be four. Okay. So let's let's see how we do this thing. So we have to count. Take c equal to zero. First thing, then while num is greater than zero all right uh, keep in mind just two day back uh, i use the not two day back yesterday i take the help of the reminder operator okay means modulus operator so what i do i put num equal to num floor division by 10 because it will return the integer okay then Increase counter by one at last. What happened? Print total digits, digits in a given number. Is what I do over here. Let us see. Let's see. I number that is five but question is this how it's working what the thing which is working behind this how it is executing let's suppose I am taking uh, I take the 231 okay see the logic 231 is getting so the first time while we check it is greater than zero yeah it is greater than zero so what I do I put num equal to 231 double modulus 10 means floor division so what it return it will return 23 all right otherwise if you divide this thing 231 by 10 so you get 223.1 but floor division remove the fraction part so meanwhile counter increase by one next time condition is satisfied the number is 23 while condition is true because number is greater than zero perfect now num become what two so counter become two one plus one two all right in next case when you divide this thing so what become inside num 
divide the thing and then counter got violated. So until while loop is get violated, your counter become increasing. Okay, this is true actually. Okay, so keep this thing in mind how this logic created. Okay, now if you want to print the data, same thing I am printing the print statement. Print mm, num. Uh, I just take the num equal to num. Similarly, value of c in each iteration. What happening over here? <clears throat> what I do here? Count equal to count. Okay, and I want. I put one statement over here so that segments is created. Second means when the loop is running again and again, segment is created. All right, check this one. Three, two, one. Check this one. What happening regarding the counter? Why mm, counter shows the wrong information? Mm. Counter. Here, okay. It's a C, it's a C, not count. It's a C. Not count, it's a C. Last one, it's a C, yeah. It's a C, yeah. Check this one. Not check the condition. Okay. Now, first time, counter become one, counter become two, counter become three. At last, it is printing the update condition. And number become zero. So, why this line shows? This line shows the each iteration of for loop. The first time, for loop run, uh, while loop running starting from here, second time here, and third time here. So this is process known as the debugging. I mean, you just putting the values somewhere knocking my class. Uh, who is participant? Shadda. Okay, okay. Shadda, you are the first class. Your first class is there? No, sir. Okay, so why you join very late? Please uh, join at 8 because it's approximate one hour class is running and you join class after one hour. Okay. So similarly, based on this, I'm giving you one uh, question. Write a program to add the digits of number. Okay. Please do that. I'm sharing this code to you. First, this code to you. Okay, then the task. Yes, your time is start now. Please do this program for me. Write the program to add the digits of a given number. Anyone did this? Wow, Devet is doing well. Clapping for you. Uh, would you explain this logic? Yes, Devetri, please explain this logic. What you want to do with this logic? Yes, please. Yeah. First, we are taking the number of from user using input function and then convert it into integer then after that i'm assigning the sum value to zero mm -hmm. i'm checking mm -hmm. if by using while loop then while the number is greater than zero mm -hmm. so suppose i'm taking the number 256 mm -hmm. is 256 greater than zero it's true mm -hmm. then it's 
coming to group and it keeps a remain reminder to <coughs> reminder to num percentile 10 by mm -hmm. doing the percentile operation with the reminder mm -hmm. and after that doing uh, the integer division of the number there is num and uh, integer division of 10 mm -hmm. so the number become uh, 25 mm -hmm. Uh, then you add just a simple reminder all right so what she want to communicate to you i mean she take reminder from the last okay so taking a reminder means it is separate this digit once it's separated digit so uh, she have to remove this digit so separating it use the modulus modulus 10 you take the modulus 10 so it will separate any digit from my number last digit basically then you have to remove this digit from number you have to do floor division by 10 so if you do the full division by 10, you got to 25 only. So what process she taking that she taking a reminder by getting the value and she do floor division to remove the value. So number becomes shorter and you get extracted the number from last and adding some one by one. All right. So what happened with this when you get any number over here. Any number over here. Perfectly. Uh, 341 so thing is added 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 1 8 okay so this way uh, for this case while loop is very important continuously working until the condition is going to false otherwise con uh, condition is true so you can go for this okay based on this one we can have else with python okay what is used for that sometimes we don't know that loop is over so for that case, we have else method, just like if you have this kind of thing, print i, okay. So when loop is over, loop is exhausted. So what we have to do? We have to print that a mess as the loop is over so that the user came to know yeah, our processing is done. So in this case, what I do, I just print number from one to five and when the number is printed, so this message will be printed. All right. In that case, else is very important. Now, in that continuation, we have two more good concepts. First one is break and second one is continue. What is break statement? The break statement is keyword in Python, which is used to bring the program control out of loop. Means when your condition is satisfied, where destination is reached, you don't need to run your loop unnecessarily. So the break statement break the loop one by one. In the case of nested loop, it break the inner loop first and then proceed the outer loop. Now, taking the example, what I do, please Devati, mute yourself, your clock is ticking, tick, tick, tick like that. Okay. okay. So for uh, I in range, range from 1 to 11, okay, uh, my loop is running from 1 to 10. Check this one. Print I. I want to stop loop at 7. So loop will never go further. What happened with that? So I check if who will decide the value is uh, reached till 7, my if statement. If I equal to equal to 7, then I equal to equal to 7, then print break. Not print break, it's a break. Okay, now check this one. So when loop becomes seven, you can stop. Now it's up to you if you want to print seven or you not want to print seven. So if you want to print seven, cut this print statement and put this before if a statement. So it will give you seven. Otherwise, it will not give you seven. So based on this one, one more program. Write a program to get first, first seven number. which are divided from 3 and 7 between 1 to 100 1 to 500 that's I don't know where 7 number will counter so write a program to get first 7 number which are divided 3 and 7 both between 1 to 500 so what I do anyone dare to do this thing first I check who will give this thing for me? 
I give you time of two minutes. Lots of people over here. So why all not responding to me? This is interactive class, so you have to at least give something. Maybe it's erroneous. Okay, so but you have to attempt. We have to print on the first seven number, which are divide from three and seven between one to five and just first number is twenty one. 21, 42, like that. 21 is divided from 3 and 7. We check the 42. I mean, your program will check about this one. Yes, please try. Anyone attempting or I have to tell you? Midhavi, Miss Midhavi Darshan. Kindly submit this program. Okay. Nikki, Miss Nikki, Pravin Shukla, Priyanka Baral. Penka Pawara, please submit this one. Raghuram Reddy, Samir Kazi, Shivangi Patel, Shedda, Shivangi, Sumit, Tejeshwari, Vijay, Vijay Singh. All of you on my team. Okay, okay. Mm. No, Priyanka, I need first seven. This will give me all numbers. I need first seven number. This will give me not seven number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All the number divide from uh, three and seven between one to five hundred. But I need seven only. Little bit modification. I need the first seven number, means from 21 onwards. Mm, oh, good. Five equal to go to seven. Hmm. Let's see what about this one. Hmm, something if is missed, please. No, no, I equal to go seven. No, not I equal to go seven. Nothing is printing, Sumit. Did you should give me C equal to zero? Yeah, this looks like good. Yeah, in this case, you are increasing the counter, and inside if you put the double if, second if. If the counter becomes seven, break. Perfect. Who is she? Thank you, Tejashri. Okay. So this logic is perfect. What she do? Running a loop, checking the condition, and print the number. Okay. Because we have to put the print statement before the break statement. So each time number got printed, you increase the counter. When you go increase the counter, when counter reach the seven, we have to stop this thing. So one, two, three, four, five. Six seven. Okay. If you don't want to put n, so remove this n. You get number in vertical order. This is a perfect program. Thank you. Clapping for this. I mean many program can be possible, but this is the first submission. 
Okay, now good. Are we in submitting? Yes, 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 yes. All right. Means the thing behind this show, this program, you have to see the conditionally breaking. All right. In the same sequence, we have a continuous statement. What continuous statement do? It will be used to skip the condition. Okay. The continuous statement is a Python used to bring the program control at the beginning of loop. Means break will put the control out of the loop. And this will put the beginning of the loop. Means it is skipping some lines. So continuous statement skip the remaining code of line. Initiate the loop and start the next iteration. Check this thing. I have a code. Uh, what I do here, write a program. Write a program to print 1 to 7 number in which sorry 1 to 10 number in which 7 will not print okay so what I do for i in range 1 to 10 so 1 to 11 uh, we have to restrict the 7 so doing uh, take first of all if i equal to equal to 7 continue all right after this print i check this one so 1 2 3 4 5 6 after 6 and 8 7 is missing because what happened when the value of i becomes 7 so this continue encounter and this will shift the control on the loop this will don't let down the control on the print statement that's why print is not printing i is not printing so sometimes we have some words okay so we have to hide that word so in that sense if we encounter seven and we don't want to print the seven so what i do i just print and instead of seven i print a double asterisk a question mark if something is there we want to hide this thing okay check this thing so it will question mark print it over here. Based on this thing, write a program to print um, all numbers, all numbers uh, BERS between uh, 1 to 20, 1 to 50, 1 to 50, in which we have to print all number in which the number divided from 3 3 will not print means we have to restrict those number which is divided from 3 the sequence of 1 to 50 check this thing for i in range so 1 to 50 means 1 to 51 okay what i do in that case uh, we have to restrict the number so if i modulus 3 equal to equal to 0 is the number divide from 3 will not print continue continue and otherwise print i and equal to comma so any number divide from 3 will not print just like 1 2 3 is missing 4 5 6 is missing 7 8 9 is missing 12 missing so if you want to locate this number what the missing point will be there so you can put any symbol just like print i want to print the hash hash in place of i and do the same thing continue the same thing put the end so it explicitly shows the hash okay where the number is missing or number is divided from 3 which you don't want to print it will show you by the hash okay do this thing and these are the smallest world python logic which are clubbed in data science and then 
make a good program take this one and take this one all right so i will start function on monday till now you can do this thing you can cover this thing okay because function is long and will not cover today my thing many concept the function parameter type also there so i will use the uh, i will teach this function on monday tomorrow we have no class on sunday at 11 am sunday at 11 we have query session so during this week you find any problem you can come on sunday with the same link i will be there on sunday at 11 am any question regarding this class you can ask me is there any class tomorrow no no Saturday, Saturday, Sunday will be off class, but only Sunday we have 11, 11 a.m. query session. Sunday at 11 a.m. is a query session in morning. All right. So any query you can ask me. Okay, kindly do practice this thing. Uh, you got this thing uh, recording till tomorrow by 10 a.m. And uh, these notes on LMS. All right, should we stop? Thank you so much. Any query you can ask me, otherwise I'm finishing the session. Sir, sir, ma'am, connection gone. Is there any class in tomorrow? No, there is no class on Saturday, Sunday, only query session on Sunday, as you, we do have in last one month, all right? All right, if you don't have any questions, so I am going to bind up the session. Thank you so much. Good day. Hello. Yes, please. Yes, Priyanka. Uh, sir, I uh, have you have you ever used Vekka tool, sir? Vekka. Uh, please repeat what? Vekka tool, sir. W E K A. No, 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 no. W E K. No, I heard about that, but not use. What is this? Can you elaborate this thing? Uh, sir, this is data mining tool actually. Like uh, now in Python, we are using uh, many libraries and functions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but uh, we had Vika too, sir, for classification and other clustering techniques. Actually, we directly use the algorithm. Okay, so clustering algorithm. Yeah, yeah, this is true. Yeah, this is true. actually, I don't. Uh, 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 actually, uh, we use the algorithm, just like classification. We have algorithm, so directly implement the algorithm in Python. That's why this is not including the our session. Okay, let me check this thing new thing for me so let me check because uh new new tools is coming but uh, uh, we include only one tool that is tableau all right i will get back you what this okay because i am new for this one uh better you learn the coding uh or just like if you're making a model using linear regression so you can do the code first understand the algorithm and do code so you have better understanding what algo functionality is there algo looks like this okay i i'm not aware of this one so i can't say what is this and how it's working this thing so are you using this tool in your company no 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 sir uh, yeah you you are working professional you are working professional uh, uh, yes, sir. Currently, I'm, if I'm not currently working in a data science team, mm -hmm. um, right now I'm off for it. All right, all right, no problem. So, no problem. So, I am finishing the session. Okay. So, do practice. Uh, maybe you got the homework uh, with this file also because uh, um, we have many programs you have to attempt. I will provide the program with solution. Okay. So, in one file, you have a program with solution. So, do try that one. Uh, if you are uh, facing the problem, just go with the Google first, see what happening with the program because solution is there and then you can uh, do implement yourself because how many program you practice, you will become the sharp in Python programming. Alright, thank you so much students. Good night.